Are you alive with Scottish fun in? Who's that? Dinky Doo, Scott. It's Tom again. Tom Dinky Doo. How lovely to have you with us. Yeah, it's good to be here, Scotty. Yeah, you're a top man. How's the video doing? The video, uh, I haven't really seen that. I don't think much happens. I think you're the only one that's watched it, Scotty. Right, absolutely. Well, I wonder if, if we can get it up on the Scotty McClure YouTube site. It might, on, Scotty, I'll try it. it might say no to me. It might say this is not your video, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal, Scotty, whatever you want. There's somebody from Northern Ireland, UK, saying, do you have a Northern Ireland flag up? I don't know. I don't bother with flags, Scotty. No, no, absolutely. So what would be the Northern Ireland flag? Is it not the Union flag? The Northern Ireland flag? Is it not the Union flag? Very controversial question, Scotty. You know, it's hard to say, really. Right, or is there a separate... A separate Northern Ireland flag. Well, a lot of people think it's the it's the Red Cross with a red hand of. Well, a lot of people think it's the it's the Red Cross with a red hand of Ulster. Oh, the red hand of Ulster. So it's effectively the English flag. Oh, the red hand of Ulster. So it's effectively the English flag, but with the red hand in the middle. Yeah, and then some people just think it's the tricolour, the same as the South, you know. The same as the South. Absolutely. Very interesting discussion. What is the flag of Northern Ireland? Is it the uh, Union flag? Is it the red hand of Ulster on the English flag? Or is it the tricolour? Isn't that interesting? Yep. Wow. It is, yeah. It, it's, you could talk about that for hours, Scotty, and I'm sure you could have some debates about it, you know? Oh, I'm, oh, listen, I'm quite sure, Tom, knowing the gang that come on here, we could talk about anything for ages. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty, I was watching some of your old uh, old clips from Scott FM and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting. It was, it's, it's good crack, Scotty, you know? Did you like, oh, there's some great crack on there. I mean, it was a huge station. They should never, ever, ever, ever have killed that station off. But you see, what happens, in, it, it incurs huge jealousy when something's very successful. What shut it down, Scotty, Scott FM? Did, it just, did, did people leave, or how did that Well, down? what they did was they said that they weren't going to renew my contract because they weren't a one-trick pony. Yes? Which was uh, not strictly fair because everybody at Scott FM was a first class broadcaster. And it had such huge audiences. It was making businesses that had been established a long time very, very nervous. Because audiences were just switching away from stations they'd listened to for years and coming and joining this wonderful, big, booming, vibrant station. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And it, it, it would be the same. Say we came over to the north there and we st we set up the Scotty McClure phone-in. Everybody would start to migrate to that station. And they established stations uh, who thought they were absolutely, you know, inviolable. We'd just have a, we'd, we'd have a panic, you know. They would say, we need to get rid of this. You know? Yeah, put them out of action. Well, it could do, yes, because people go, oh, no, no, we are Scotty McClure fans, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still no excuse to not have Scotty McClure, if you ask me. Oh, there, there is no excuse for not having Scotty McClure. It's just that I think after the um, pandemic, a lot of the people that manage these businesses are very risk averse, they think. And there is, of course, no risk. With McClure, that's the whole thing. But they're just risk of the thing. I would rather just play the music, you know, and we can get a nice wee, uh, yeah. a, nice, a few wee crumbs from the table. If we put McClure on, bang, all the attention will be on this radio station. And, of course, nowadays, not just locally or nationally, but throughout the world, people, nationally, but throughout the world, people will start tuning in. I mean, they're starting to tune in now on the YouTube channel, and the TikTok. Yeah, well, I, I thoroughly enjoyed watching the old clips. And the, the phone-in was great. You got all sorts of characters on it. Oh, and it just, it just 
sounded wonderful, you know. I could listen to that for hours and hours, Scotty. Well, you see, people did, Tom. We, we were on for three hours every night. Well, five nights a week. And uh, we were on for three hours, five nights a week. And we know it works any night. It's just you have to have any night. It's just you have to have a night off. Otherwise, you'd burn yourself out, you know. And um, the problem, I think, that you've got is it's so popular because there's nothing against it. People do complain because they get, uh, you know, irritated by what you say. But yeah. it's such well, a winner. You know, the stations, since that I've gone for it, I've all won. I've made millions of pounds for radio station owners and media barns, you know. Scotty, you put, the, you put the woman in her place. Well, I had to. You cannot have that nonsense talk. And you see, what you've got now is nonsense talk. And you see, what you've got now is um, a couple of broadcasting organizations that are just frightened of their shadow. And what they're doing is they're just really putting out propaganda for the government. They're not even holding the government to account. 100%. Uh, it's all, they're all trying, they're all worried about getting cancelled and this, that and the other. You yeah, know? getting cancelled. Well, we need to put a stop to this cancelling thing. If you ever uh, want to cancel anything, you need to make it, uh, it has to go before a huge public committee of the people. Absolutely. It's not It's not up to the big bosses to decide what should be done. It's up to the listeners, you know. Of course it is. And the listeners decided. And what happened is the audience disappeared. They were shocked that the audience disappeared. And um, they had to sell the station. Sure, look at, look at President Trump. Like, they were look, they've put him in jail and nearly... Well, they haven't. They haven't. They haven't actually put him in jail, but they're they're um, you know charging him, charging him with stuff. I that's what I mean. But like the thing about it is, the people don't want that. But it doesn't to them. It doesn't matter what the people want. You know. No, but I mean, I think that will backfire. Just watch this space. You know, because yep. you know whether whether Mr. Trump was up to anything or nothing, right? Then wait till you see what's probably about, right? Then wait till you see what's probably about to come concerning someone else. About to come concerning someone else. I know. Do you see what I mean? So, so you've just got to trust Donald Trump. I know. Do you see what I mean? So, so you've just got to trust Donald Trump, the man. Is out sought to trust Donald Trump. The man is outstanding. I can't think he would have done anything wrong. And uh, I think it'll be very interesting just to see how that pans out. I've got a few That's ideas right. up my sleeve, but I'm not going to spill till I see what turns out. Do you know what I mean? Yep, that's the right thing to do. But see that Joe Biden fella, I don't want to be talking about him, but I think he's past his time. He's past the sell back. Well, What's he doing? I mean, I would ask the Americans, how much were you paying for your power when Donald Trump was in power? How much were you uh, paying for a gallon of gas? Do you know what I mean? All this stuff about the oil's going to run out. Oil will never run out. It's the second biggest liquid on earth. <clears throat> they have to just tell people it's scarce to keep the price up. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Absolutely. Otherwise, it'll go down to a dollar a barrel, and you'll probably find that that war will stop. I was just about to say that. Yeah. You said to me a while ago, you know, Donald Trump would have that sorted in a phone call. Well, we'll just see. Yes, I mean, a phone call. I mean, that man is so well known and so powerful, he can just make a phone call. And that's what yep, we like yep. to see. And he's a force for good. He's not one of the baddies. He's one of us. He's not one of them. Yeah, and he's he's interested in Ireland, you know. He's oh been yes. Over a couple of times oh, of and, course, yeah. and Scotland. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And everybody's welcomed him. Everybody has welcomed him, you know. Yeah. He's got his golf course down in Kildare, you know. He's got, you know. They went to uh, they went to Keen when Joe Biden visited. 